Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. If you hear some noise in the background, it's my son making oatmeal. <laughs> but um, I want to say that yesterday was a phenomenal day for us with the news coming out, showing us and giving us more confidence as to why we bought NEO, why we held, and proving to us that we're going to make considerable money in the coming years. I want to start this video off by saying a lot of people have asked me who's the picture of the person in the background. It's one of our avatar, greatest avatars that lived on earth. He left about 5,000 years ago. And this book, Bhagavad Gita, talks about all of the things he's done when he was on earth. And not, sorry, let me rephrase that. He spoke on a battlefield in India. And basically the gist of it was, do your duty to the best of your ability. So if you're a warrior and you go on the front line for your country, you fight till death. If you're a merchant, you do your job to the best of your ability. If you're an investor, you do the job to the best of your ability. That's why you always hear me say with that warrior mindset, get rich or die trying. You go all out. So what do I have for you guys? Let's start off with this, guys. Neo was last trading at $9.06, 36 cents down. Uh, the 52 week low is $7 and the 52 week high is $16.18. As a disclaimer, I hold 2,260 shares at $3.53 and on the SoFi platform, I hold 478 shares at $8.77. Now, I heard, and I don't know how true this is, they say that Neo, non Neo uh, customers, like people who own uh, let's say Xpeng or what have you, will have to pay triple the amount to use our chargers. It was in the making. It was coming. Again, the reason why <laughs> King William Lee was busy building out the charging and structures and the battery swapping stations when all these other guys were putting out their cheap plastic junk whose EVs will be worthless unless they start doing what we're doing by renting the batteries and using our battery swapping station. Gangsta. Now, which EV company guys have the most EV chargers in China? Who's that? You guys guessed it right. Us, Neo Lions. Now, I'm going to show a little clip because I did a video and I spoke about a Fox business analyst. He's very popular who admitted for the first time that he's he's been holding shares of Neo for a while. Take a look at this clip, guys, and then we'll continue with this video. Talking of electric vehicles, Neo, that's one of China's electric vehicle makers, just unveiled its flagship EV. Are you invested in the EV race? I know you like Tesla, but as you say, that's so much more. Anywhere, anywhere else in this sector? Well, funny enough, I do own NEO and I have for quite some time. Ah. The thing about NEO that's really interesting is that it's not even messing mm. with US markets. It's looking at Europe and it's following Toyota's playbook from the late 60s, early 70s. And if people remember their history, that's when everybody thought Toyota was just cheap tin with wheels. Now it's a world-class car yes. company. I think NEO is on the same trajectory. I forgot about that, uh, that, that, that perception of Toyota. You're absolutely right. Look how far they've come. All right, let's move on. So what do you guys think about that little clip? Exactly what I said was happening. You guys got to give me credit. I told you guys the whales keep, kept buying, the educated investor kept buying, and the shorts scared the uneducated investor away, just like the fake news media, they scared people into selling their shares and they were gobbling them up. So, what else do I have for you guys? 
there was a guy there's a one of my subscribers his channel is a a k a i zero zero seven four in fact i don't know if he's a subscriber he left a message on my channel on my last video he said um the model three is a piece of you know what s <laughs> 30% battery degradation after two years, 30% after just two years, and his warranty is expired because it's over 100,000 miles. And now, like I said, people are waking up and realizing, oh my God, what have we done by buying this junk, this filth? This is why BYD is going past Tesla because they're putting out a better product than the Model 3 especially. This is why Tesla market share is tanking in China. And when we come out with the sub brand boy, hmm, booyaka. So what else do I have for you guys? Oh, before I forget, Illinois. This happened yesterday. Illinois just passed the law, Illinois in America, that all new homes that are being built will have to be built with charging stations. And so I'm guessing the builders will have to incorporate this while they're building it. It will add a thousand dollars, which isn't much to the homeowner's price. And when the new, when the article came out, it showed um, a picture of a charge point charging station. Uh huh. Remember, I was telling you guys I averaged down on my charge point, even though it went down. So the current administration is trying to push heavily to bring uh, EVs as the standard in America. And of course, I don't think that will be uh, practical until NEO comes here with the battery swapping system, like I said, which hopefully it will happen. But anyway, uh, some more yummy, yummy, yummy for the tummy stuff came out. And let me just say this as well. I'm getting ready to break my rules and buy shares in a company that's very high. I'm going to buy shares in a company that sells toilet paper because the shorts are going to be buying up all the toilet paper just like during the pandemic when you couldn't find it. Listen to this, guys. Neo allows Chinese owners of cars purchase on its B battery as a service model to buy out the battery. Owners of vehicles with purchase invoice dates on or after January 1st, 2024 will only be eligible to buy out the battery packs after one year. So this will be in line, I think, with the tax credit. So they still get to buy the EV and don't and get that tax credit. And then after a year, they can buy the battery. Genius! Genius, I tell you. <laughs> Neo is starting to allow owners of vehicles purchased on its battery as a service model in China to buy out power battery packs, providing additional flexibility beyond battery upgrades. Neo allow customers to purchase vehicles with battery packs included or to purchase just the body and lease the battery packs under battery as a service model, which we know, right? And this is what will help us, like I said in that one of my last videos yesterday, that it will help the customers get that tax incentive, drive up our sales when the other EV companies don't have that. <laughs> this year is going to be sweet. Customers who purchase a vehicle under the battery as a service program do not own the battery pack, which reduces the purchase price by at least 70,000 RMB, which is $9,860, like I was saying. They pay either RMB 980 or RMB 1680 per month for renting the battery depending on whether the battery pack has a standard or long range. And remember, they can switch, go switch that back and forth. The battery buyout option became available to batteries or service owners who can pay for the battery to own the pack. So some people wants to own the battery. I don't know why. Oh, no, I do know why. See, these people can turn around and sell this UXIN, that company I told you about, Yushin. And then Yushin will refurbish the car, the EV, sorry, sell it back, checking the health of the battery. And then I'm willing to bet, I'm going out on a limb again, guys. <laughs> so far, I've been right. That when you buy the used EV from Ocean, you might be able to buy battery as a service because they are going to be an arm of NEO. 
They have partnered with us to showcase our EVs. My God, and I just thought about this. So, according to an article posted on the company's mobile app last week for a st standard range battery pack with a capacity of 75 kilowatt, the battery buyout costs 70,000 yuan. For a long range battery pack with a capacity of 100 kilowatt, the battery costs is 128,000 RMB. Customers who want to replace the battery with a brand new one will need to pay an additional 3,000 RMB. Currently, NEO allows batteries and surface customers to buy out battery packs with the same capacity as when they purchase the car. Owners who have already purchased a battery pack at the time of purchase cannot buy a new one. For batteries and surface users, if they buy out a battery pack, the battery rental fee they previously paid will not be refunded. So that means revenue in our pocket that we don't get to give back. Notably, for vehicles with purchase invoice dates on or after January 1st, 2024, owners will only be eligible to buy out the battery pack after one year, like I said. This appears to be partly aimed at avoiding improper leveraging of China's latest new energy vehicle purchase tax incentives, like I was just saying. So I'm going ahead of myself here, guys. <laughs> so they would still be able to get the tax incentive and we're working around the law. Just like when you have an LLC in this country, in America, you can write off all of your taxes. Yummy, yummy for the tummy. <laughs> for any fees, with buying dates between January 1st, 2024 and December 31st, 2025, they will still be exempt from vehicle purchase tax, but the exemption will not exceed 30,000 RMB per vehicle according to a June 21st, 2023 announcement by China's Ministry of Finance. This means that customers purchasing NEVs with a selling price of no more than RMB 339,000 will still not be required to pay any purchase tax as before. So we qualify under this, we qualify under battery as a service, we're gonna dominate the landscape this year. I told you guys before, I'm the only YouTuber have been saying this, that we will be numero uno. That's all the Spanish I know, guys. <laughs> Number one. And it's because of battery as a service. It's because we're being backed by the Chinese government because they see this as a superior business model and the only way to go forward. In addition, when customers purchase NEVs with separate invoices for the car and battery, the taxable price is the ex-tax price of the vehicle body. This means that some NEOs higher price models can enjoy a lower taxable price by selling the body and battery separately. So, I hope you guys found this video informational and inspirational. This is not only going to cause us to generate more revenue because we're giving them a chance to buy it while at first they were renting it, then they get a chance to buy it. So we're collecting money for, for them renting it and after they buy it and they are benefiting as well because they're getting the tax break in the beginning if they can't afford to pay the full price with the battery then they get a chance to buy the battery later on when they acquire the money then sell it back to UXIN, Yushin and still make bread. So I hope you guys found this video information and realize, and I keep saying this, like the trolls keep coming on my side, shamelessly trying to defend Tesla and saying, oh, when they start putting out 50,000 vehicles a month, let me know. What do you clowns, I'm talking to the shorts now, that are pooping in their pants think will happen when we release the sub-brand? But not only that, I'm showing on a business level how we're gonna make money from not just deliveries, but yes, our deliveries are gonna explode. So I hope you guys found this video informational and inspirational. If it did, guys, please hit that thumbs up. And don't forget, guys, some of you all said you started sharing my videos on your social media, etc., etc. Thank you so much, guys. Please keep doing that. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might wanna think about doing so, because in this channel, we have that warrior mindset where we get rich or we die trying guys. <laughs>